episode 219? No, I think it's 221. Oh, jeez. <laughs> 221, we're, I think. We're going without show notes. We're yes, doing... 221. We're, um... It's important oh, right. to the last yeah, okay. episode by accident. Um, well, that's why I was asking if you were reporting. Like, what? Oh, okay. Anyways, we're we're kind of in a discombobulation. We're at my house after work. Um, there's a lot of kids in the backyard, so you may hear some noise. It yeah. is my son's birthday today. Yay. Yay! He is 12 years old. Um, 12 magical miracle years old. That's right. So, um, yeah, there's screaming. You're going to hear it. I apologize. There's nothing well, I can nothing do about it. Nothing we can do it. about it. So... If you're new to the show, thank you for sh uh, coming and seeing us. And if you're a return viewer, welcome back to the fun. And it is so much fun. Uh, let's see. Just a couple of show uh, shout outs. We are doing the, char the shawl charity. That's right. So any shawls that you aren't going to use, um, we have a thread up in our group to donate them to Lease from Webs. Yep. Uh, there's going to be some great prizes. We have another edition that we'll show you at the end of the show. But we also have um, yarn from Wolmize, yarn from Webs Collection that Lise has curated for us. And is there something else? I think that might have been it. Um, so lots of prizes coming in for that. So, you know, so put them in, you have until the end of September, which is coming up soon. It's already the fourth. I know. And to go along with that, we're doing a shawl knit along. So if you knit a shawl and you put it up on our thread to the end of the month and then send it to Lise, you get two chances. Two chances. Plus. Josh from Sword of the Knitter podcast is doing a shawl timber. timber. So you can possibly even enter it there as well. Yeah, I don't so. know what his rules are, but you might be able to. We, we certainly we don't allow mind. double dipping. I don't, don't think care. he does. I don't think he minds as well. Yeah. Um, most people don't. I don't know of any place that really does say that they don't want double dipping, unless it's specific to their podcast. Right. Which is understandable. So that being said, I think that's all the shout outs. I think so. Um, just a big thank you on, to the um, prize that's been donated. Why don't we show that up front? All right. So this is a prize for the Shawl Charity. For the Shawl Charity. It is a Knitting's My Bag bag. It's a beautiful bag. Super cute. Paris in the spring is what I like to call this. <laughs> it's really pretty. It is pretty. And like it colors. comes with a yarn of Australia Skein Artisan Yarn and Fiber. The colorway is Into the Blue. This is Top Draw Socks, a lusciously smooth, soft, and durable sock yarn, making it the perfect choice for socks, baby clothing, and blankets. It's One skein will make a pair of adult socks. 437 yards. Yards. Yards, and it coordinates prettily. So that's going that. into the prize donation for the shawl yes, charity. For the shawl Not charity. Not the shawl knit along. That's so if you get this, you could different. get a skein of wool mines, you could get the yarn that Lise has curated, curated and offered, or and this. you could get this bag and yarn, and I'll probably throw in something from me too into the prize, because I just have everything in my house is disorganized. I can't go look and see what I have to put in, but I have stuff that All I right. can put up for prizes too, to give you more of an incentive. And I'd like to do a good job because this is our second annual um, shawl charity effort with Lise. And last year we did so well for her that she had plenty of shawls to Almost cover until now. Almost for a whole year. I think year. it was June, uh, May or June that she actually finally ran out. Yeah. So we really appreciate we that. We really appreciate it. And I know that the people that get the shawls really do appreciate them. They go to people who are in hospice care, people who are in shelters, people who have lost a loved one, and people who are new moms. Yes. Anyone who needs the comfort of a virtual hug can get one. So um, I think it's a good thing. And I know that Every year, there are a couple more shawls that I'm like, you know what, I love this one I knitted. I've worn it, but I don't wear it anymore. What a nice thing to do. Yeah. So, I encourage you to join in. And that's it for the shout-out. Okay. Sorry. And on that note, uh, we're jumping right into On the Dance Card. So, right off the bat, I still have my Jekyll and Hyde hat. I don't think I made any progress on it because I was making some progress 
on some socks that I was trying to finish. So I'm not going to show it to you. Um, maybe I'll try and finish it. We have a long weekend. So maybe I'll try and finish it this weekend now that the weather's kind of cooling down. We had another heat. We're going to have another heat wave next week. I think it's the last hurrah, though. I, I hope think so. It's I mean, it's September last. already. Today, it is fabulous Oh, outside. my gosh. It's like I woke 70. up this morning, and it was a breeze that was reminiscent of fall. Aww. It was so nice. So, um, to for me, I just have one thing on the needles. It's a generic toe-up sock using um, Judy's Magic Cast On. Ooh. <sighs> So I just realized that a pair of socks that I have, I've come undone. Um, Judy's Magic Cast On. It's with Patton's Croy socks. The blue brown marl. And it's got wide stripes. And I'm going to do a fish lips kiss heel on it. This, and I was saying to Wendy, I don't know if she remember, I thought I was going to get yelled at for. This is a, my first ever commission knitting. Yeah. A coworker asked me if I would knit her socks and how much I would charge her for two yeah. pairs. So I calculated the cost of the yarn and then I just kind of doubled it. You should, should have charged $10 an hour, but. Oh God, that, she would never pay for that. Yeah. No. Um, but, but I didn't mind knitting her. I think doubling it is fine. I think doubling. For a friend, um, you know. Especially between you and me. I got this at a really cheap price. So I'm actually kind of tripling the cost. Uh, well, that's So, because um, it is Patton's Croy. If you have a coupon from AC Moore, you yeah. can beat. Patton's Croy is cheap, uh, cheap, cheap, So this is, and I've also been trying to keep track of how long I've been knitting on it with my, my little stopwatch. Oh, yeah, good idea. So this is about two hours, maybe a little bit more of two hours worth of work. Cool. Just so I can say, you know, it takes so many hours. People ask me that all the time. Yeah. How long does it take? So I can say, you know, on an average, depending on the sock yarn, it takes such and such hours. This is a little thinner uh, compared to the Blue Moon medium weight that I like to knit on. Yeah. I'm Still knitting... pretty hardy, though. Oh, yeah. I'm knitting on one and a half. That's not so bad. No, it's not as bulletproof as normal. So what would you knit with this? Would it still I would, be two and a half? I would. I always use a two and a half. <laughs> what would you knit your blue moon on? Three? Um, I knit what on two and What did you and knit your blue moon on? Two and a half, but I went down to um, 58 stitches. So depending on the yarn is depending on my... So for a thinner yarn like this, which would be Croy's um, or blue moon lightweight. Yeah. Patent, not patents, Plymouth, any of those that, um, Fiber Nymph, all of those have been knit on one and a half. Yeah, see, this is like a regular thinness yarn. Same here. And it's so, just so funny. So here it is. These are hers. They're the same width. I knit mine one and, uh, one and a half. She knits hers two and a half. Yeah. And my, I don't think I get a bad, I love the material that I get out of them. Oh, mine. My fingers don't hurt. <laughs> it's bulletproof. No. No, it's just more dense than mine because I knit at a And the other thing, age. too, is this is commission knitting. I want these to last. I don't yeah, want no, her I to think come back to me and say, hey, this fell apart. I, I just want to point out that there is no, I mean, well, yeah, there are some wrong ways to do things. Like, you know, if you're not like teach their the own stitches is the right way. What you're saying. But I think that in terms of how what gauge in it socks at or anything at, that's personal to the knitter. There's a certain um, level that you're comfortable at, that you like the feel of, that you like the wear of, and you should go with that. Even if your best friend knits with a one and a half <laughs> and you're knitting with a two and a half, if, if the two and a half gets you what you want, then do it. If the one and a half gets you what you want... Right, I don't think we ever criticize each other for what needle no. we just... I, I mean, just laugh at how, because your knitting is so much more dense than mine, because she uses a smaller needle, and she has a slightly tighter gauge than I do, just you knit tighter than I, I do. do. I, although I've been loosening up, that's why I'm going up in size and needles yeah, lately, because I used to do it on ones. But I, that always just amuses me, because, you know, I have floppy sock. Well, this is floppy. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it's so floppy. It's floppier than some of the other stuff that you knit. But that's just her thing. That's, that's how she makes them. That's how I make them. So this is um this is one half of one pair. Um I was thinking 
you know, I kind of wanted to just get them out of the way because she wants them for rainy weather. And believe it or not, I hate to say it, it's coming soon. Yeah. She's got a couple of boots, and so I'm going to do another pair. Same yarn. I'm going to use the Croy because it's a nice, sturdy sock. Yeah, I like that Croy. Um, but I think I might try and find the Blush Marl or the Rose Marl, which is like this, but pinks. Oh, yeah. Um, so we'll see. I was looking for, trying to look for like a black yarn, but I didn't want to do what I, Max's yarn again. Remember yeah. Remember how I did that? She's a size 10 foot for a girl, woman, girl, um, but an average width. But I didn't do 64, I did 68, and I think that'll be fine, just in case. I didn't want it too big as 72, but I didn't want them too tight of 64. Finally wove the ends in on these socks. <laughs> We're not talking finished objects. Sorry, I just wanted, these are, so, I, I already showed these, they're already finished. I'm just, that's what I've been doing over here. In case you were wondering, go So, um, continue. This is all that I've been actively working on, is this sock, because, so it's kind of been a, anyone who follows me on Instagram, I had asked for ideas of which Halloween I was going to knit with. Yeah. So if I can get these pairs of socks done in September, then I can still obviously cast on for October. Yeah. And it depends on the yarn. One's medium length. One's I have to length. finish this pair of socks before I cast on my... Oh, good. So I got plenty of time. Oh, you got plenty of time. Oh, all right. Here I was worried. So this is all that I have on the needles. Um, I don't have... I have nothing on the needles right now, actually, because I just finished something. Give her a couple of minutes. Um, I'm casting on the second sock out of my Knit Picks Baker Street. Now, do you start, you start a new skein, correct? Yeah, because it comes with two skeins. So I okay. had about this much left. It would make a nice, like, baby hat or something. I know. You could do it in a larger needle. Or a chemo cap. Yeah? Um, yeah. So, hold on a second. I just got to orient, orientate myself. There we go. So, um, I'm just casting on the toe of the second sock right now. So that's all you basically have active on the needle? That's, well, I have the other thing. What did I do with it? It oh, fell thing? down. This is making a comeback. Is this the red thing? No. No. I brought this extra yarn with me to Maine in case I ran out of things to knit, but then I got a new project, so I didn't run out of things. Um, this is my Rediarius cowl. Yeah, the red thing. Okay. I it's remember. coming back. I'm almost done with it. I have this much yarn left. So what are you, just knitting until you run out? Yeah, basically. I'm not, like, measuring or anything like that. I love how this looks. It's really pretty. This is um, a bulky yarn called um, Mammoth by Spunky Eclectic, Amy King, and the design is by Amy King as well. And I think it's going to be a fun, pretty, big, squishy cowl that I will enjoy wearing. And I love how it coordinates with my Will Rudd Riding Hood bag. <laughs> this is one of my favorite bags. I'm always happy when I can use this bag. It's cute. I have one that's gray with the same pattern. That's one of my other favorite bags. So I had a lot of favorite bags. Yeah, I know. Um, so anyway, uh, that's not a lot. Um... This is, the sock that I'm knitting is the um, Mr. Invested sock, and um, I finished one, so I'll show it during my FOs, uh, but I have eight stitches cast on, so <laughs> toward by the end of the show, I should have the beginning of a heel. Toe. A toe. A heel. What am I saying? Unless you're doing something, I don't know. Now I can't, now I can't remember how I do this. Got to take it all out. I do. Okay. I gotta do it all in one shot or forget it. No, wow. did that? Is that right? I did it! So, are you done? I am. I got nothing, man. Uh, finished object, I have one. So, as you can tell, I'm, I've really come to realize with these socks and this hat that I cannot really work on more than one project at a time. I am more. I never thought I was, but I am now monogamous. No, yeah. I just can't. So, um,. What I'll try and do is focus on the hat this weekend because I'm almost done. Um, and then I'll work on my socks. So I finished my Feeling Groovy Socks by Blue Moon. This was the January Club shipment. Feeling Groovy is what it's called. I did a generic uh, toe-up 
with fish lips kiss heel. My toe up, standard toe up for me is the Judy magic cast on. Which is what I just yeah. did. It looks like this for those of you who may wonder. It, it looks just... You cast it on across two needles and then you... It looks like pearls on the back, knitting on the front. So I did that. Um, I have not woven in the ends. I did block this, however, and I asked Wendy's opinion. It looks like the colors bled a little. Let me show you. All right, so here's a finished sock on a blocker. Nothing fancy, nothing special. I'm going to put these right here. Sorry if it shakes. Here is my finished yarn. So I did these with 60 stitches. Might have been 60. I don't think it was 64. I think it was 60. This is what I have left over. This is medium weight. And you're probably not going to tell, but it's not as vibrant. Yeah, you can't really tell. But here, you can tell. And it, and when I put it in the soak, to soak, I think it was eucalyn that I used. I like the, That's what you usually use. I like the smell of eucalyn. Um, I noticed right away that it kind of changed color. Yeah. So I was a little disappointed. Um, I used cold water. It wasn't like I used hot. But that's okay. They're still bright. They're still very bright. I think it's almost like the green is more noticeable. Like maybe the green. Well, that's when I was knitting it, you really, it didn't, the green didn't, like even here, you can't really see that it's green. It looks like yeah, it's striped but, yellow. But it's. You can't really see it on this. It's in it's person. Green. It's very bright. It's like, green, yellow. It's um. So I've been learning a little bit more of color wheels lately because Max and I were having a conversation, which is kind of cute. Um, I've been wearing a lot of nail polish lately because my nails have been really knock on wood, nice. I've been taking hair nails and skin oh yeah vitamins. So I was talking to Max about how I wanted to do those tips, not like French manicure, but they are, but with different colors, right? Know? And I said, oh, I was thinking of blue, but I wouldn't know what to put in his tip. And he goes, do an orange. It's the opposite of the color wheel. And I'm looking at him because I have no knowledge of color wheel. And then I said, oh, that would be a good idea. So I was looking at the color wheel one day, and I realized that these are what are called complementary colors and something else. Like, I, I can't think of the name right now, but it's complementary and tonal? No, not tonal, but there's another word for it. So anyways, I was having fun looking up it, but... They're interesting colors, but I like them. They may, uh, anyway, they're mine. Um, so all the socks that I've knitted, I haven't worn. I'm going to wait until, well, obviously the October ones we're not going to wear until then. But all the other newer ones, I'm going to wait until the real cold weather comes. Which, yeah, I am waiting. the rate we're going isn't going to be soon. I know, especially me since I'm going to the beach. It's going to yeah. be hot there. So I just fold these up and put them in my... Um, my drawer? No. I've been putting them just on my knitting so that I don't put them in my usable. Oh, you know I haven't I mean? been wearing my wool socks because I don't See, wear I don't wear clothes. my wool socks. I've been wearing my cotton socks, and um, I think two of them are ready to say bye-bye. Yeah. But I'll probably still keep them until they're really ready to say bye-bye <laughs> because you put so much time and effort in them. You don't want to get rid of them. But that's uh, my only finished object on the needles. Uh, what I did do, and I'll mention this, and I'll bring it out next week, is um, I've been looking for my bag. It's oh, Sadie Ruin's podcast. Right, with the little dinosaur. Yes. I cannot find it. I know it's around somewhere. So I happen to be looking for something, and I saw something behind my thing that I keep my yarn in. Yeah. I'm like, oh, maybe that's it. No. You know what it is? You what? remember your ruby slipper shawl? Yeah. My purple one? I yeah. thought I gave it away. I didn't. <laughs> so I found it, plus another purple shawl, but it's got a tiny little moth hole in it I gotta fix. Hmm. Like, really tiny. Yeah. Then give it away. Um, no, probably not. Yeah, I'm sure I'll give it away, because, you know, me and, me and shawls just don't work. I do know that. So, but it, it's kind of like a, woohoo! Almost like winning money. But so you didn't find the bag. No. it's It's got to be somewhere. It's because somewhere. I wouldn't have lost it outside of the house because I would have known if I yeah. did. You know what, what happened I mean? is you were using it, you were using it, then you stopped knitting whatever was in there or you got finished. And you I must have finished it because and I'm... And then it just got... It's got to be somewhere or, or like one of my kids took it. That could happen. Yeah. I think someone's coming up the stairs. Even after we told them not to. 
Uh, oh, no, oh. it's my husband. He's allowed to come up the stairs. Oh, yeah, he can come in. He can come in. Do you want to say hi? No. <laughs> so that's all I have uh, that's finished. And I have two dates. Well, I have a date to rate and a um, PhD. I'll show you the PhD first because I finally finished the first Mr. Invested sock. And I love mm. how it came out. I like the colors. I do too, but I'm, I'm yeah. disappointed yeah. in these two stripes that are like almost identical. Like, I just, that bugs you me. You can't even see the difference. It bugs me. You can under a very bright light, but in this, it Which does, it looks have. like one big stop. Okay. So, um, a couple things about this pattern. Um, I did my usual uh, Judy's Magic Cast on Toe, 12 stitches, what I always do, and increase to the number of stitches in the pattern. This is a paid pattern. And I did a Fish Lips Kiss Heel, and I didn't plan it, but look how nice I know, it, it looks came good. out perfectly. That doesn't always happen. I really enjoyed doing this, but I found that I would lose which row I was on it unless I constantly stayed on um, on my Banner? chart. Oh. So that's why these took a little bit longer. I was going to say, because usually, enough. okay. Um, I mean, I, if I use the pin thing, like then I, I would know. But I still would have had to look at the chart to know when I was supposed to So turn. it wasn't easily readable. No, this is not an easily memorizable chart for me. There may be some people that can. The other thing that was weird is I didn't really understand how I was supposed to end this. <laughs> the, the instructions didn't make sense to me. So I just finished a square and I didn't start a new one, which I think looks fine and I think that's what you're supposed to do but I couldn't really figure it out from Go the ahead. pattern. We're gonna pause. Hi babe. <laughs> I don't so um but I think this is how they're supposed to come out. I don't you know so I just did um one, two, three, four, five, six repeats and that's a whole sock and it actually is a little bit longer than I normally do a sock because I had to finish that repeat. right it couldn't be in the middle of a an and I'm looking at it and I think I made that that one longer than the other ones it's hard to know a though. Little, it almost looked longer and wider for some reason but it could be that it, it could stretched on that well yeah. I had to rip this out a couple of times because I kept making a mistake yeah I will be this doing that anytime soon because I need mindless you know me yeah this is not mindless so as much as I love this um I'm gonna knit the other one this is not I was just gonna, gonna say go to are you gonna knit the other one plain or are you gonna knit well no the other one I'm gonna do this but I'm gonna change the inside of those boxes to seed stitch because I just think seed stitch would look prettier and you wouldn't notice this um, transition line right here yeah. as much. It would hide it a little bit. So um, that's what I'm going to do. Mm -hmm. So we'll see how that, and I'll have two to compare. I have a lot of socks where I've done that. Because <laughs> in these socks, remember, I didn't, oh, yeah, like yeah, the way yeah, yeah. That, I didn't like the way it started flat like that. So on the second one, I made it start with a point. Yeah. Like that. So <laughs> it's funny because I mean, even I have a couple of socks that the socks themselves are the same, but the pattern is different because you know you don't care about the pattern so much. You just care no, about the I look mean, of the sock. No, I mean the socks sock. are going to look the same, so I don't Most really care. Most of the time they're, they're slightly being different. Worn, so. And you know, um, if I like it better that way, if I ever do do these again, which I'm not sure that I would, but I might then I would know that I have a different option to do that looks better with striping, self-striping yarn. So. I'm sorry. That's a nice sock. I don't mean I have to yawn. Your, that's my project half done. I finished my Dunlap cowl. <laughs> A.K.A. Captain America. Captain America cowl. <laughs> Although it doesn't look like that. It doesn't look so Captain no, America it when it's all done. But um, I really enjoyed knitting this. And I have to show you something. This is the cast on edge, which I did wrong. It was supposed to have this kind of ribbing, which is knit with garter on the inside, like um, knit garter row, a reverse stockinette row, stockinette reverse. So, so like a, a like a garter stitch, yeah. um, as opposed to this, which is a pearl, just pearls. Kind of like knit. the knit and pearl. So, but it made a very um, loose. loose edge compared to this one. 
So, and, and it's probably not helped by the fact that I, um, I did a stretchy bind off on this, but I did that for a reason because this is a very narrow cowl. And um, the bottom brings it in quite a bit. It though. does. I know. I might. I might rip this out and do it the same on the top. It's meant to be a long cowl, and you're supposed to um, put the. I'm just bringing him in for a minute. Whoops. Whoops. This is my birthday boy. Happy birthday, baby. Happy birthday. Twelve years young. Where's your iPad? I have no clue. Thanks. Happy birthday. Well, Where's your iPad? You. Why do you need my iPad? You have friends outside. Go play. Yeah. No, I want to watch a creepy video. No, no, absolutely not. You look cute. So, um, but I, one thing I like about this is it is truly long enough to be under your coat and have up around your head like a hat. Yeah. Number one. It's even better. <laughs> when you can see. If you do it this way, because the bottom is so loose. <laughs> it's like a little Russian lady. You look like one of those, um, the cups. Yeah. What are they called? I don't know. M matryoshka. I look like a matryoshka. And then the other thing that you can do, which is kind of fun. I'll show you. All the things you can do with the Dunlop cowl. You can twist this. Oh, all right, yeah. And make like a hat, right? right? You gotta do it inside out. It takes me a minute to organize this. So you take it, turn it inside out, twist it. Well, I don't know how good this is gonna look. I did it, I managed to do it last night. And you turn it into a hat. I think you twisted too much in. Oh, my, oh all right, okay. A doubled hat. You make a double hat. And you can put it on. Yeah. It's a hat. <laughs> it can be a hat. <laughs> okay, if you say it's, so. This has gotten bunched up in it. Yeah, I think if you just took a few extra seconds to... You kind of have to, like... See, this is so wide. I like it to be on the inside. And then you got to kind of... Pull it down over it. <laughs> but, you know, like if you were out and about and you just were like, I, I want to put a hat on my head because my ears are cold. Looks like a hat. So that's kind of fun. Sure. I don't think it's long enough to wear around your neck. No, it's really yeah. not. So I enjoyed knitting that very much. I really enjoy the fact that there's this, um, now my hair's all crazy, that there's this three color color work and then the striping and then this texture, which looks so pretty, but do you know what this is? It's just knitting and purling. Knit one, purl one, then purl one, knit one? No. I just think it's interesting that that texture is just from knitting and purling. It's so pretty. I would tell you exactly what it no, is. No, I understand. Yeah, <laughs> it's I a wasn't thinking, yeah, I know. I wasn't thinking about so it. So I love it. I had fun with this. I knit this out of... Um, now I can't remember what I knitted out of. DK, something DK. It was, yeah. No, not nitpicks. Oh, I can't remember what. It was, um. Nature, um. Brown sheep. Brown sheep. Nature nature's spun spun. DK or In, sport. DK. You said it was DK. I remember that. It'll be on my project page, which I haven't started yet, but I will. So, yeah, that was a fun knit. I bought that yarn in Maine, and now that that's done, um. I can move on to some other projects, but I wanted to get that done, and I might keep it for myself, or I might give it to my son, because he would wear a Captain America cowl. Absolutely. I love it. It's my America cowl. America cowl. All right, so that's all I have. Um, rate your date. Our whirlwind romance. Nothing. I have nothing to say. <laughs> okay, future dates. Um, for me, it's just socks. I, I know it's boring. I know I sound really boring. But right now, that's where my mojo is. Uh, it's really mindless. I can do some of it at some of my job sites. And, yeah, that's pretty much all it is. It's quick. It's portable. Yeah. And soccer season's starting. Yeah. And I want something, you know, mindless. Although maybe I'll work on my color affection while I watch football. Maybe that I'll make that my football knitting. Oh, uh, yeah. I know you don't like football. 
I didn't. Not a fan. Brady got Brady got released. Not released. Well, but when you read the judge's decision, you realize that they kind of railroaded him. Yeah. Well, not only that, but they were they were fining the Patriots as well as punishing him. him. Yeah. And it was a little too much. Anyways, besides the point, uh, you for future dates. Um, my future date is my Rhinebeck sweater, and I was going to bring along a skein of the beautiful diabolical yarn that I am going to use, but because I was coming over to Sheila's house, I forgot. Also, all of my knitting stuff is, like, mm. in disorder because I had to move it all out of the room where I normally keep it so that they could do construction, and I still haven't gotten that sorted out. So, I'm just not motivated to get everything done until I have the bathroom done. I just want everything yeah. to be done, but, um, so I, I, I just, I needed to pull it out, and I forgot to pull it out, and I forgot to bring it, so, but that will be, um, so, that will be started very soon. It will be on the needles probably the next time we record. Oh, good. Um, cause that, I wanna, <laughs> I, I only have a few more weeks until Rhinebeck. I need to get that Get a little going. over a month. That's good, so... But that's it for my future dates. Bobbles and bling? I have bobbles and bling, so do you. Yes, I do. I have one bobble and bling. Um, this is going to have a rant that goes with it. I apologize. <laughs> I'm, I'm doing it now instead of crushes and heartbreaks. And just... I'm just going to call this episode Cup Half Empty. Which I am never. <laughs> am I a cup half empty? I'm always looking at... The... Depends on what it is. When it comes to people, I'm always looking at the bright side of people. Yes. But when it comes to other things, when not so much. When it comes so to things that you have purchased. I put my money into it. Your cup half empty. I am. So, it's about the Blue Moon Cup Club. Cup half empty. I, I want to just say, I love their yarn. Um, I am loves not. Yarn. I am not the only one who is unhappy about this club shipment. Um, I don't think it made the rubber neck or thread, but we had a, a few things. It wasn't, it, it didn't get drama enough to make the rubber neck or thread. So I am a member of the Socks at Rock, Bloom, Rock and Sock Club, something like that on, on Ravelry. And our latest shipment was the... You have to understand, this is the 20th... 10th year. anniversary. Yeah, it's the so, anniversary one. I've already talked to you guys about the colorways. Let me explain that again, just so you know. It was supposed to be an exclusive club. These colorways, sorry about that. These colorways are never going to be offered. Where usually the colorways are offered after I believe a year. Yeah, then they become one. But of the, the stock thing colorways. I find frustrating is a couple of the colorways are similar to what they have now, and I understand colorways you can only do so much. But when you're saying 10th anniversary, so okay, just for an example, this is a club colorway. It's not. I'm just saying as an example. This will never be off it again, but oh look, this one's so similar to it, I can buy that one instead. You're just not getting the name. That kind of upsets me a little bit. I mean, when they say exclusive, also I was expecting maybe more solids. I mean, we have gotten really a lot of variegated yarns, like highly variegated. See, I have to step in here and say I think that most people kind of expect the colors to be variegated when it's a... A special club like this because you can get sunny solid colors anywhere, anywhere. Right, okay, I understand that. I have no problem with variegated blue moon, obviously. I got enough of it in my stash. So that, that really is not the issue um, I have. Now, a few people complained that they weren't happy with the quality of the yarn. They felt that the quality was less so. I don't agree with that. The quality is the same. Um, I did find a few slubs in my J. All right, let me also say I've only knit with one of the clubs, but. So far, the quality is the same. I found a few slubs, not even slubs, just like, you know how it's a eight strand? I found like one strand broken, but you know, that, yeah. it is what it is. Um, I am not upset with the quality. I'm disappointed in the colors. Not so much the colors, the color and the pattern combinations. And this has been spoken about. They don't seem to be jiving very well. Highly variegated pattern, highly variegated yarns with patterns that really shouldn't be knit with highly that variegated. Have detailed detailed um, patterns just get lost. It really has. And that's been a lot of the complaints, whoever's complaining. Now, I paid extra for the bag. 
a part of the 10th anniversary was, was a special bag by Queen Bee um, Bags out in Portland, Oregon. I went on their website before I purchased it. I said, okay, I could do this. The price, $55 extra. I'm saying it lightly because my husband's around. $55 extra for the extra special whatever you got. The bag, it's a very nice bag. Um, it was hand stamped. I don't, yeah, I think if this was stamped. Or it's, printed. Or printed or whatever, but it's not. Custom printed. With Notorious Sock Knitter on one side, Blue Moon Rocks it, Rock and Sock Club on the other. Um, this is, I think, Pond Scum Green, which anyone who follows Tina knows this is her favorite color. Mm -hmm. The color of the bag doesn't bother me. I'm I'm open to it. I like the handle. This a uh, few people didn't like. Um, the inside of the bag is water resistant. I mean, it, it reminds me of a coat. Mm -hmm. Would you not say? It reminds me of a coat, like a nylon coat, which is nice. This is, it reminds me of my favorite bag that I use, which it's is like a makeup bag. makeup bag. And I like, and it's it, a good so size. So if this got wet on the outside, your yarn would not get wet on the right. outside. So, I mean, it, it would fit, it fits plenty. Whoops. It fits two Blue Moon skeins. Actually, rather nicely. So, it's it's spacious for a sock. I mean, you know, this is a sock club. You're not getting... It's not like a sweater club. Exactly. So, I'm happy with the size of the bag. I'm happy with the bag. I really am. I like the bag. Colors don't bother me. I am very disappointed in the swag that came with the bag. I got a tape measure. It says Rock and Soft Club. Blue, which is nice. I like blue. I guess there's been a couple of different colors. And I got a Notions box that says 10th Anniversary Notorious Sock Knitters Rock and Sock Club. It's just a box? It's just a box. I thought it came with stuff in it. No. <laughs> so. Oh, okay. <laughs> no. Cuff half empty no. is, is understandable, know, isn't it? It's starting to make a little So sense we to me. each sock skein that we've been getting, we've been getting those floops. They're like little hair elastics, like yeah, tiny with a little elastic. bead on it. Yeah. So you can put all that stuff in it. This, you can put like, you know, maybe one of your folded up tape me measures on. Yeah. And maybe a pair of scissors. Um, oops. And you Did can you break it. No, I hope not. <laughs> But it's weird because it won't bend. It's got individual little pockets. I hope I didn't. No, I didn't break it. It's just, oh, it's weird. Yeah, it won't bend. So it's got individual compartments. Now I get the floops. This floops every skein and she try, uh, has been trying to coordinate them with the colors. That's all I got. Now the bag itself is probably worth around thirty or so, maybe forty dollars. But this, I'm a little disappointed. I will be honest with you. I like the bag. Um, again, I am not the only one who's a little disappointed. And of course, the people who love Blue Moon, I gotta defend Tina. And you know, you pay them for shipping cost, and I understand all that. But you make it to be this big thing. I have to say, as an outside observer of this. I don't have the problems with the color. I wouldn't, if, it, if I was in it, I wouldn't have had the problems with the colors of the yarn that Sheila, you know, that they weren't, I, that wouldn't have bugged me. This would have bugged me just because I don't think it was worth the extra money that you, bump that you paid. It's a very nice bag. Um, and it's nice that it came with the, um, I think so rock and sock. I hate to notions. say it that you think, I think you're paying for the name of the bag. But it could be. I mean, it's it's, I don't it's a know perfectly them. nice bag, but I just I feel like it's not that special. I mean, who's to say more is not to come? I don't know. We still we're only halfway through. I got actually I'll be getting a shipment at the end of this month. No, yeah, every odd month, right? First, yeah. yeah. So I'll be getting a shipment at the end of September. But no, I right? also have to add to this. This is yeah, what September. happens. I have two more shipments. This is what happens whenever you join a club. I understand. Because you have no control and, over it. I mean, obviously, it, her color sense seems to be similar to mine because we have, I have a lot she of... She loves, and she still loves the yarn. The yarn I is do. good no matter what. I love what. the yarn. Um, you know, the last game, some of the colors, you're like, huh? 
Yeah, the last game I but didn't like that much. A lot of people didn't like that one. Again, um, <laughs> it's that red. I'm telling you, that was like a miss step. That I color think it was, was a miss step. Um, and the pattern was just not good for that year. Yeah. Either. So I mean, I. I'm not disappointed per se. I'm just let down a little. Let down. It's not what you were expecting. expecting. I was really excited. The, I mean, I love the bag. I will use the bag. It yeah, definitely it's not a, a problem. Bag. It's a great bag. I was it's a little not, disappointed with the notions that came with it. You were expecting a little more oomph. It was not as special. It was not oomphy. As you thought. No. And I remember when you were trying to decide whether or not to go for the extras. And we looked at the... Um, the website, website and that is not what I thought you would get. No. Based on so. the website. So it's just, you know, and I understand it it's probably tough to knit for gosh, I'm taking a guess, three hundred people who are probably in that club. And yeah. Because I don't think they limit it. Yeah. I mean so yeah, anyways, I'm you know. just slightly disappointed with my bobble and bling. Um I, I love it, I'll use it. I was waiting to show it before I did use it. Maybe I'll use it for this. She'll still buy Socks at Rocky Island in the future, I'm sure. Uh, not until I get rid of, I, at least, I got it. I can't. Because every color that I look at, I'm like, oh, that's really pretty, but I got something similar. Or, gee, I can't. I just cannot buy anymore. I cannot buy anymore. But you know I will. I know you will. <laughs> she can't you know, help it. So I'm on my 13th pair of socks. And I realized I'm only knit three blue moons. The year, which I was hoping to, to do you more. You need to get in. But, no, I did six deep stash. Oh, deep that's stash. Good. Yeah, something like that. So I'm okay with that too. But yeah, I need to get crackalacking. You do. And then actually, I got some nice solid ones that I should probably do more. So, just to recap, she's not saying don't do the Blue Moon Club because she overall. I'm very happy with it. I, I love it's just Blue Moon. This, uh, this the extra... 10th anniversary was hyped up to be something that it has not delivered She thought it would be more special. As of yet. There is still two more shipments. Who knows? We could get something for the very end shipment. We don't know. I mean, we knew the bag was coming separately, and that was the big thing. But And, and I guess... I guess with the floops and the bag and the notions, I could kind of understand seeing the, uh, spending the extra money. But not. Well, I think if I was going to spend that amount on a bag, I'd rather pick it out myself. I mean, it's nice that it's personalized. With That's like a memory or whatever. Right. I'm going to... The only ones who are in this club this year are the only ones who are going to get this. Right. It's, it's, uh, it's not going to be offered anywhere other... And I'm okay with that. And like I said, this... I'm happy with the bag. I yeah. really, really am happy it's with cute the bag. bag. I don't mind the colors. I like the colors. I'm happy with it. I like how it's water resistant. This would bug me, but see, you this like doesn't it. bug me. And a few people have commented how that bugs them. This doesn't it, bother it would bug me. me. I don't why? know why. Because it's just raw like that. I guess I just don't like that. No, see, that doesn't bother me. I like it. So, I mean, overall, I really like Blue Moon. It's just as it was hyped up for the 10th anniversary. I'm a little disappointed. It's not a hot empty type of deal it's just a little bit disappointing it's kind of like a christmas and you open up a gift and you're like oh it's a sweater <laughs> <laughs> or when you like wait for months and months to get the latest book in a series and you're like i can't wait i can't wait, i can't, I can't wait and then you read it and you're like eh, it wasn't that good <laughs> kind of like what happened with me and patricia cornwell books oh. so good so good so good not as good just so crappy you're yeah. like what well, after a while, when you're reading her, I mean, it becomes the same thing. You're talking about Kay, Kay Scarpetta? Yeah. yeah I just, stopped reading it because I just was so I read. I think I read three or four of her books. Side note, yeah. Three or four of her books, and then I'm like, yeah, I think I'm done. I did read her uh, Jack the Ripper one. Yeah, that was very good. I read that. It was interesting. So, But that's how I feel with her. Just disappointed. <laughs> yeah. Just a little disappointed. So that's all my bottles and bling. I have a bottles and bling, which I remembered last week. If you watched the episode, I said to Sheila, I thought I had ordered some yarn while I was in Maine. And I had, but I couldn't remember what it was. And even after looking it up, I couldn't remember what it was because it was no longer on the website. This is Vesper Sock Yarn, um, Bride of Socktober. Very bright for you. It's extremely bright, but it's Halloween. I know. Um, and, and it's let me striping, right? It's self-striping, yes. Let me explain about why I picked this one, because Lois was not fond of this one. 
Lois thought so I was you picked making it a up. mistake. <laughs> you picked it up to spite her? Is that um, what you're saying? No, I have, I, and I'm going to explain why. Lois, I mean, it's not like she hated it. It's just she didn't think it was mm. Halloween-y enough. I'd say the only thing that makes it Halloween-y is the green. Well, I picked it because it has orange, black, green, and purple, which are very Halloween-y. Yes. But then it has that pink thrown in, and I thought it made it different. Like, I didn't just want... So you can wear it, with, yeah. All not right. even so that you can wear it. Just that you know, there was there was one that Lois really liked that I also really liked from a different um, a different person. It was candy corn self striping. Mm. It was so cute. I wanted to get it, but I was like, you know, candy corn. That's so expected. And then there were like orange and black, and I was like, orange and black is kind of boring, right? Yeah. Um, and then. You know, or orange, green, and black, or green and black and purple. Right. I just so I liked that this had that like extra oomph in it, extra color. It just made it seem a little more interesting to me. Um, I think this is her new base. It feels very different. It's seventy five percent superwash wool, twenty five percent nylon. It feels much more robust than her other um, yarn that I bought. Yeah. It's like a I mean, thicker, I don't think I've heartier base. Um, 430 yards, and I am going to knit my Halloween sock out of this. And Sheila is going to knit a Halloween sock at the same time. Um, this was the winner off of Instagram. Oh, really? Yeah, th <laughs> this is pumpkin chunking. Yeah, I don't okay. like pumpkin chunking. Um, but uh, somebody pointed out that it was as bright as the one that I just did. So as much as you guys pick this one, and I love this one, I think I I'm going to go with this one. so much more. This is Frankenhen. What's yours? Mine is Bride of Socktober. So, Frankenhen and Bride of Socktober. See, I think Frankenhen. I like Frankenhen because, again, this is very traditional Halloween-y. I like it, though. I like it, I mean, it too. obviously, I, I don't do find I anything it. wrong with it. But I like the, that one is just a little extra. Well, I'm knitting a thin sock now. This is a thin sock, so I think I'm going to go for a thicker sock. Yeah. This is oh, medium good. weight. I love this um, one. I can't wait for this one, though, because I do love the bright oranges and the gray. I together. think it's a beautiful I think it's going to be skein. gorgeous. I just but I think, think this is, is more fun. And what I'll probably, I have a Halloween bag to put this in, too, believe it or not. Ooh. Do yeah. I have a Halloween bag? I'm sure you do. <laughs> I'm going to have to pull out my Halloween bag that Lois made me that, I, that she hates. It has the Victorian creepy ladies on it. You know oh, that yeah, bag? Yeah, 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 That's yeah. my Halloween bag. Yeah, so I have the Halloween bag that came with this one. So I'm going to be knitting Frankenhen. Thank you, everybody, on Instagram. Um, I'm sorry to I'm glad I won anyway. Uh -huh. <laughs> I didn't even vote on it, I think. I don't know if you did. I, don't I thought you I voted did. Pumpkin Chunkin, personally. No, ma'am. Um, no, ma'am. So this will be maybe next year's because I don't think I have two years. I, I mean, I only have two Halloween themed type sock yarn, I think. I don't know. Who knows? But that's going to be that uh, this one next. So Frankenhen and Bride of October. Bride of October. I think that's going to work out well. I know. Bride of Frankenhen. Exactly. <laughs> the two together will be Bride of Frankenhen. When we cast on, we'll have to do that for the yeah. title or something. That'll, we'll, just, we'll both call our socks Bride of Frankenhen. Okay. So, yeah, that'll be fun. Um... Is that all I have for... I think that's all Bobbles I have for Bobbles and Bling. Crushes and Heartbreaks? Did I get any patterns? I didn't try to think. Um, I didn't buy anything. No, I didn't get anything. <laughs> um, crushes and Heartbreaks... Uh, I'm gonna go quick here because we're running yeah, and I gotta. Running. We and have we a birthday it. party to get ready for. <laughs> so, um, Crushes and Heartbreaks is the biggest one. Still no word. Sorry for the interruption. Um, so, first Heartbreak is... We heard from Nando about him being away, so I sent him the information, um, and then I texted him the other day. He goes, I'm sorry, I'll look at it tonight. I haven't heard from him, so it's very frustrating. I meant to call the place, too, and give him... It's been over 12 weeks that we put our $500 deposit down. Yeah. Um, and, you know, the only thing we keep getting is three to five, three to five, three to five. We have people ahead of you. It's like, enough, enough. Yeah. So the other heartbreak is I've been on the CPAP machine for almost two weeks. Uh, that was a phone call that I just got. There's something called nasal pillows. Um, they have a nasal mask that goes like this just for your notes. And then they have little things that go up your nose. So I thought I'd try that because I wasn't a mouth breather. 
But unfortunately, my head is saying, you have something in your nose, breathe through your mouth. Yeah. I've never been that much of a mouth breather unless I'm congested. So I just was telling them I need a full mask. Um, if anything, my sleep has gotten worse because I keep tossing and turning more. But my husband hasn't left because of my snoring. So that's good. So I think it is helping my snoring, just not my sleep. No, because it just feels uncomfortable. It does. I'm hoping the mask will feel better. Um, I know you got to get used to it. I understand that. But the nasal, I found myself breathing through my mouth, and that they don't want. Well, you know, it's so funny because I had to wear a um, guard for teeth grinding. Yeah. And the first one they gave me is a traditional one that goes on your upper, it fits onto your upper teeth. And I would wake up every morning, and the guard would be gone, and would be on my bedside table. And uh -huh. um, I was taking it out in the night. Like, I don't even remember doing it. I don't I'm like, I'm not all the way awake, because it drove me nuts to sleep with it in my mouth. It bugged me. And my dentist was so mean to me about it. Nor everybody is fine. You just have to get used to it. You're not wearing it enough. And I'm like, no, I'm not. Because I put it in and fall asleep. And at some point, I take it out and put it on the bedside table. And I wake up. I'm like, where's my guard? I went to a different dentist because mine retired. And that guy was like, oh, a ton of people have that problem. Let me give you one that's on the bottom. Oh, uh, okay. That one was fine. Hmm. I don't know what it was about having it on the upper teeth that drove me crazy. But the one in the bottom, I can wear. Yes. Yeah, so and um, it's... Something about it being in there was yeah. disturbing my rest to so, the point where I would take it out. I'm hoping that this will get better because for the insurance to cover this, I have to be compliant, as they call it. Yeah. And to be compliant, I have to wear it at least four hours a night for so many nights or something. Yeah. I've been doing it for most of it, but a few nights has been three because I just couldn't deal well, with it Well, how did they know? You... Is it say on the machine? Well, not only does it say it on the machine, but it's... It connects Wi-Fi. Like, oh. Yeah, these are all new machines. I will say it is as quiet. It's quieter than a fan. You cannot hear it. Cool. Um, and it's got a humidifier, so it helps with dry nose. you got to change the humidifier every day, which, bad on me, I don't always. Um, so that's another heartbreak. Crushes my son's birthday. We have a birthday party we got to get ready for. We're going to keep. I have three days off. <laughs> I have worked, I think, 57 hours this week. Wow. Yeah, we have a co-worker that um, had a gallbladder removed, and she worked till 6 at a site, so I volunteered to work closing, and it was 6 to 6 for four days. Mm. And then my regular shift, which I was hoping to get out at 2 today, didn't happen. That's why I'm kind of rushing through, and I apologize for talking really fast. I know, we have to get going. Yeah. Um, my crushes and heartbreaks. Uh, my oh, crush. school started, too. Oh, that's a crush. That's everybody's crush. Um, it's a crush for me, except that, you know, my son's first couple of days were really tough. Um, he was sick, and then he got real nervous the first day because none of his friends were in his class. But um, the second day that he went, he settled in more. I talked Good. to the teacher and he was fine. You know, it was just a new thing for him and it takes him a little while to get used to it. So that was a crush and a heartbreak because I felt bad that he was so stressed out. Um, my other heartbreak is that um, I'm sending good vibes out to my uncle. He's not doing well. Mm. He had um, a heart problem that has led to heart failure. And um, I've been dealing with that for a couple of weeks now. And we're just hoping and praying that they can do something for him. So um, if you have good thoughts, send them out to my uncle. And um, I guess my crush and heartbreak is I still haven't gotten my bathroom tile sprayed because we had to do some more work in there. You know, it's, yeah. this was expected. But I suddenly realized it's September this week. In two weeks, I'm going to be gone for uh -oh. a week. So you're not going to be getting it done anytime I don't soon. think so. And then I'll be home for a week, and then I'll be gone yeah. two long weekends in a row. So I'm like, I feel very stressed out by all the stuff that's going on. So that is a heartbreak. And, um, oh, I had my blood drawn today. That's not that bad. She said it was a huge bruise. When no. I took the band-aid off, I'm like, it's not that bad. No, not at all. I was expecting You can see it, bruise. though. 
I had my blood drawn today at a place that I don't normally go. They were she didn't come good. to me. We would have taken care of her. I know. Well, the lady said, you should have gone to your friend. And I was like, I don't think the paperwork lets me go there. But there I have, like, paperwork. You would have. We could have figured it out. But don't worry about it. It is what it is. You got it done. That's all that counts. Yeah. So um, that's it for me. Uh, Gossip and innuendo. Don't forget about the... Um, shawl contest and everything and don't forget about all the festivals coming up that are listed on the blog yeah there are a couple coming up in a, like a week or two um we are doing rhinebeck yes we haven't really talked much about it we are doing rhinebeck um we're just going with the flow i don't know if there's a meetup i haven't i don't know if there's a meetup we'll probably show up towards the end of it just because if you go for the whole thing, you can end up getting trapped there because it always goes on longer. Um, and we are there with other people that don't necessarily want to be at that meetup. So we try to like include them too. So include them too. If so we try to make meetup, it reasonable. We'll be there, like, like it's usually at one o'clock. We'll probably be there at one thirty. Um, around, but. By yeah. all means, say hi to us. If yes, you when see we're us walking around, please come up to us. Um, and um, I have a new phone, so maybe reception is iffy at best over there. So uh, maybe I'll try and Instagram a little bit more. Yeah, um, but yeah, that's just so you know. So if there is a meetup, we'll definitely be there at the second half of it. But that's why we limit it, just because um, we're there with a big group of friends, and they don't necessarily want to spend. An hour, an hour more. waiting for us. <laughs> Not that <laughs> we I ever asked them to. No, I mean. but you know, it just you you kind of feel like you have to make accommodations for right. your friends. And um, I'm looking forward to Rhinebeck this year. I am too. And um, I'm looking forward to the week before Rhinebeck because I'm going to go get to visit Lois, and so is Sheila. It's about so damn time. that'll be time. Fine. It's about damn time. I know you're going to love it up there. I know. Lois and I are already, like, planning everything. I love it without my kids. <laughs> <laughs> you won't want to go swimming, though. <laughs> wow. Well, It'll be a little chilly, I hope. <laughs> Bye, without October. weather, who knows? Um, so with that, thank you for watching us every week. We really do appreciate it. We do appreciate it. it. Thank Gotten you for the really donation, nice kind lady. Thank um, you for the comments. Thank you for the nice... Um, a couple people sent me some private messages this week that really touched me and lifted me up. I had a really bad week because of my uncle. That's very stressful. And um, these people didn't know anything about that. But when I get comments from you guys, it really does. It lifts me up. Oh, absolutely. So I appreciate that. So we thank everybody uh, for watching us and all the comments and everything that you get to us. Um, I don't always check Ravelry every day, so if you leave a message, please bear with me. It takes me a while get back sometimes also she checks the email address I do so if you want to get in touch with us quicker send an email through she our does check, I, yeah. I check the email address and so. if it's for me she forwards it to me yeah um because I do all the technical stuff and she does the email and kind of do like not the PR I wouldn't call it PR but like I I post the contest threads yes yeah. well unless they're I post our knit along threads. Let's right. put it that way. I've also, I don't know if you noticed, know, been responding to people who say hello in the oh, thread. Good. I try to that. do that, but sometimes I. Forget. I think I do it. I can do it easier than you. So it's like we have our own little things that we do better. Um, I but I get all the emails. Um, the only thing I have yet to figure out is if someone makes a comment on YouTube, how I can. So I, I'll I'll check I, more into know, it. I, I don't think, know if I, I can think get I an can email go on in there. And like, but it, do something. I, but I, I looked that, because we have the same. You've gone into. I have it, right? the access to it. Yeah, because yeah, it's the yeah. password that. Yeah. You know. Um. So we'll keep looking. But oh, if wow. you really want to get in touch with us, send us an email under our contact thread under the blog, which is right about here. It's also um, knit one heart two K N I one T. Wait. K K N I T one H E A R T T O O dot blogspot dot com. You know what? I'm just going to run it under here. It's knitwoneheart2 at gmail.com. Oh, that, yeah, I'm that's our put it email under address. Here. I yeah. thought you were talking about I don't about know what blog. I was. I was spelling some other word, but whatever. We have to go. We do. It's the natives. The natives, <laughs> natives are, are getting restless. restless. We're having a pinata. So thank you again for watching. Have a good week. Knit with, knit with heart. heart. Bye.